good hello hello and I am so excited to be um, doing the reveal of my counterfeit kit challenge blog kit for the month of November because I am officially a member of their master forger design team starting this month so this is very exciting for me <clears throat> I've never been on a design team before I manage my own for my store but I haven't actually done it um, as a designer. So very excited for this opportunity. I've really enjoyed making kits um, for the past few months in the group. And so it's just going to be, I think it'll be a really fun adventure to, to do this for an entire year and to work on the challenges and to be part of a crafty community. So in this way. So the kit this month is from Lisa, one of our master forgers. She lives in Germany. And um, here's the kit. It's actually from a German site. And the fun part is that I have most of these papers. So here's my kit. Ah, just kidding. This is not my whole kit. Um, but see the flower and the map and the balloons and this circles, the photo and the two cut apart ones. I have all of those. So, um, I only have a little piece of the map one, but, um, I have all those papers and if I only stopped at those papers, I would probably be done in like two days because I use a lot of paper when I scrap, I guess, but I don't have this paper in the background with all the words. So I'll talk about what I'm going to do as far as, um, my inspiration for some other things to go along with that. Um, I don't have these letters but I have some gold word letters and that's okay because I actually don't care for alphabet stickers I usually like to I prefer to use full-on words it helps me um I don't have to line anything up it's just I can kind of take that as an inspiration for what I want to do for my layout sometimes although I don't usually do that and then um I do have the life right now ephemera kit that they used there's a lot of icons in here that I like there's a coffee there's a little teapot there's um some baking things there it's kind of about being at home there's some tickets there's some books there's a chair there's cups um coffee cups and or tea cups but I prefer coffee um you know there's it's about kind of being at home being cozy um being comfortable and then I have some other alphabet stickers that are kind of gold. They have a little more rose gold tint to them, but um, I also pulled, okay, so here are the papers. And these papers are quite interesting because you have bright with these two Paige Evans papers. And then you have the black and white and then kind of a watercolor. And there's actually a page that has tickets and I don't have that page, but, um, and then you've got this map that's kind of black and white. And so, I wasn't really sure this, I, I felt like this was a real challenge of a starting off point for me because I was like, what am I going to do? Of course, what I do is I, I hone in on a couple colors. So I looked at this one. Uh, oh, and there's the, there's the, um, what do they call Blends. Okay. So I, I kind of honed in on these colors. So this is kind of one, it's almost like two kits. You've got your kind of neutrally soft colors and then you've got your really bright colors. And so, of course, I had to go and pull uh, Vicky because <laughs> I always pull Vicky. Um, and I pulled some bright colors from Vicky. Um, this is actually from Wenders, so it kind of goes along this same collection. I pulled the circle. Now, let me show you why I pulled this circle. Um, this is the front of the pa of the of the papers, but this paper, the back, which is actually the back of this one. Um, it has this big circle green one, but I have this one. So I thought I would just use this one. It has that green. Um, it has some of the similar colors, but, um, and it has the big circle. So I pulled this one for the giant circle. Um, and then there is, so at the time when I was pulling this, okay, let me be full disclosure. I didn't have this paper. I, I originally did have this in my stash, but I, I used this paper. I used it for the blue on the butt on the back. I went and uh, got another piece from my stash at the store. Um, but I was going off of the idea of the circles and the bright colors. And so I pulled this one from Vicky because it has circles and has the bright colors. And so I pulled that one um, for that. 
I pulled this one because it has neutrals. I love the strips. I love the the new the variety of the newspapers and the everything. And I just I just love this one, so I pulled that one for that. Um, I pulled this black one. I don't know why. I think because um of the pattern, or just because I like the black. But I like having some neutrals in there that I can use for layering and things like that. This one has more of a, like kind of a diamond pattern, so on the back, and so it was kind of to mimic the diamond pattern, I think. I also, and see, I always do this. I pull just a ton of things, <laughs> and then I just kind of go off of that. Um, this one, because there is a paper that has a stripe, this one has kind of a not, it's like an uneven stripe, okay, the blue and the white. And there's even an ombre pink in there. But, um, so I pulled these two because again, they kind of have, this one has those bright colors from Sweet Rush, which is her, one of her recent lines. And it just has like kind of those same colors. Obviously I, I lean toward the bright side of, <laughs> of color patterns here. Um, I pulled a red and a green solid. Don't ask me why. I wasn't trying to go for Christmas or anything. I just pulled them. I don't exactly know why. I just know I like to have that for layering. Um, I did pull some hearts in a couple of different patterns because, uh, again, kind of to go off of that, from that um, circle pattern paper. Whoops. This one that has the circles, which I have right here. But um, just because I like having those different colors. They have the colors and the circles. And I don't use a lot of paper that has really big patterns in the back of them, but I think I could also use this as fussy cutting. So that's a potential for that. Um, I pulled this one for the ombre stripe, similar to the pink ombre that's in the, in the kit. I pulled this one for the clouds because uh, the... Um, this one has clouds so I thought I would just kind of go off of some icons and some motifs that I saw they don't have the same colors of course but because it has the clouds and it's something kind of in the sky I thought that would work okay it's a very it's a very um beefed up kit. Okay, so then this next one, I didn't have the page that had the words on it from um, Pink Fresh, but I have this page and it says wonderful and it's rainbow colors. And I thought these could be great for cutting a strip, doing something, and it has that large word um, look to it. So that's what I thought I would use instead. Also, I know it goes with the colors from the Wonder Collection. This one is, um, it looks a lot like the pinks. It also kind of looks like a sky, but there's like this pink ombre. There's this pink on, it's actually a ledger on the back of that other page. So I, I thought that was good because it had the pink. Here's another stripe. It's actually a blue stripe. So to me, blue stripe, even though it's a diagonal, um, it copies the stripe from the kit. So stripe, stripe, yep, it copies, it's the same. <laughs> and it works in the colors. This one is a cut apart. It has sort of the same idea of the life right now. It's not exactly the same colors, but there is a coffee cup and um, you know, there's a couple repeating things. I think I can use some of this. I might be able to use this diamond pattern on the back, even though it's bright green. I don't know if that even really goes with any of the colors. This one is a map. One of the patterns in the kit is a, is a map. This one, this one has a lot more color to it. Um, it's also a Vicki Booten, I mean, sorry, Maggie Holmes um, from Market Square instead of her round trip collection, but because it's map and I thought it could work as far as probably for layering or for something like that. This one is another kind of like that diamond pattern and it works. This one I pulled because it has, so there's this one, back here that has like these little diamond flowers. And so that's what I pulled this one for. So I was trying to just kind of go with the same 
designs from the papers. Um, and I did look at the colors. It doesn't really look like I did, <laughs> but I did. I looked, I think this one works really well with the, um, the paper with the balloons on it. And then this has some tickets and cut aparts and it fit with the, um, idea of either this ticket page or, um, some of the ticket ephemera that's in the ephemera kit. And I pulled two of those because, um, hey, why not? When you got one, why not pull two? This one has a, a little bit of the maps and some of the other colors. And it's an opportunity to use a page that I probably wouldn't normally pull. And this one, honestly, not really sure. Other than it's a big circle pattern. And I was kind of pulling papers that have that big circle design to try to use that. I, I really want to work on doing some pages that have the big pattern in the background this month just for kicks because I know I've had people say that they um, aren't really sure how to scrap with those and I honestly don't know if I'm if I know how to scrap with those so um, I'll have to learn too. So that's all my paper. <laughs> it's a lot of paper um, but I do that. I tend to pull a lot because then I don't have to worry about things and I can pick and choose and I can layer and I can um, get the paper if I need to and just go with that. So that's all the papers. So I'm going to pull out those original papers mostly. I can find them all. Here's one. And um, the map is in the back. That'll give you kind of an idea when I pull these. If I'm ready to go with it. Okay, so yes, I have the Life Right Now ephemera. I also pulled these. These are from Pink Fresh, but they're from these, uh, their collection called Days of Splendor. This is kind of like their fall collection, and yeah, it's kind of an odd color palette, but, oh, where's the balloon paper? It goes really nicely with the balloon paper. Here's the one that I wanted to have instead of the words. So it goes um, really well with the balloon paper. Here's the balloon paper. See, if you look at the colors, these colors from the Days of Splendor, they work really well with this uh, paper, which is kind of one of the inspiration papers that I was using when I was pulling my stuff. Um, so I didn't have a lot of life right now. I did have, I did get it out of my store and um, I pulled some other items from that. Um, I pulled because I can't just have a little bit. I have to have all of it. <laughs> but this one has some gold words. And I thought that those would be good to use. Some gold stars and, and hearts. Anything with gold letters. This one has a little tiny bit. I don't really use a lot of Maggie Holmes. So I want to try to use some of that. Um, I pulled some of these chipboard stickers from Pink Fresh. Pulled out all my pink fresh stash mostly. I pulled the some days. I pulled. It's so hard to see with a glare. This one, like surprisingly, the colors work. This is Days of Splendor, which goes along with the cozy and the heart and the um, fall and some of the coffee things and the tea and that kind of stuff. Um, this is for keeping it real, which is kind of like the. Kind of like the life right now. It's just a slightly different color. Here's life right now. So I have the stickers too. And then um, pulled noteworthy stickers. I don't use my stickers very much in some of the some days because it does have tickets and tabs and it has a coffee cup and it has a few things in there that I think would be useful. That coffee espresso maker instead of like a blender or not blender, a mixer. So that is an overview of my kit. It's a big kit. I didn't pull as many. Last month I pulled stencils. I pulled stamps. Um, this month I have, I mean, I have this one set, one stamp set from Wonders, but um, no idea if it'll work, <laughs> but I think it'll be interesting and this will kind of make me, um, if, of course, I always give myself permission to pull from other places if I need to. Um, you know, as I go along, I usually end up pulling it, going into my Vicki Booten word stash. 
uh, word sticker stash and um, pulling things from there. So, so that's kind of my collection um, for this month. I'm excited, very excited to be able to do this and work with the team. And, you know, we're going to have forgeries on the fourth and there's just every, they do so much to um, show you how to make a kit and how to do it, how to use your kit. And so definitely um, look at the link in the, in the description below with all the, all the links to all the people, because there's a, like five or six of us, I think maybe seven or eight, there's a lot of people on the team and they all have a kit and they all talk about how they created it. A lot of them are on a blog. So thanks so much for coming along. I hope that you enjoy watching this and that if you like it, you will leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're playing along with counterfeit kit blog challenge, sorry, counterfeit kit challenge blog. And, um, if not, what, what holds you back from wanting to play along? So leave me a comment below. And I will see you soon for a video with my next layout. Thank you so much. Have a good, what is today? Tuesday. Bye. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate all my subscribers. Be sure to ring the notification bell to be notified the next time that I post a video. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Drop me a comment and say hi. I love chatting with people. And here's some other videos that you might like. Have a wonderful creative day.